Hello! Today we're going to do part two of my thoughts of Elder Scrolls Online. Let's talk about it. Hello my friends, Boomy here once again for a video for you, my Elder Scroll brothers and sisters, and everyone else on part of the community here on the Freak Show of YouTube. So, I just, I, I've been wanting to do a part two of my experiences so far within the game of Elder Scrolls Online. Because it seems to be where a lot of SOTOR people are going as we kind of go through a content drought. Which is totally fine, like I said in past videos, which I'll probably post up here somewhere, like right over there somewhere, yeah, right there. Uh, it's okay. It is okay to as a content creator or as anyone else to play other games. It's fine, it's okay, we won't we won't arrest you. Not yet. But anyways, let's get into it. So, so far, I'm really enjoying uh, the story uh, of it. I'm still trying to get my mind around about who's who and what's what. You know, you, you, you end just kinda of like getting into World of Warcraft for the first time. You're right, who's Malfurion? I don't know who these people are. What, Toronto, blah, blah, blah. Who are, I, I need a freaking dictionary lexicon and a, and a guide. That's what I need. Thank God for the internet. So, I, but I am enjoying the story so far. There's some intrigue here and there. And it, it's overall, from what I've experienced, it seems to be very well polished. It's very Elder Scrolls. It's very Beth Sheeta. And it's very MMO-ish, right? Some of the quests you get, you go collect some poo over there and go kill that nest and do things there. Oh, go talk to this guy over there. Do this quest. It's, it's a typical MMO um, quest style uh, thing. When it comes to um, immersion, I am enjoying it. It kind of reminds me of KOTOR a little bit where your character really has no voice at all when it comes to interaction with an NPC, but the NPC has some good voice lines and I really appreciate that. I think it's one step above um, World of Warcraft because they're stuck with quest text. Uh, I mean, get over it, guys. Get over it. No one wants to read anymore. Hello, video. And But I think this is where SOTOR kind of does a better job when it comes to player game immersion storyline when you have your main character interacting uh, verbally and cinematically with the NPC that you are uh, interacting with. So SOTOR wins out on that one, but so far doing a pretty good job. Graphics, oh my goodness, I love the graphics, especially during a storm as you might see behind me. With the lightning and just right there is just amazing. Like I am big on environmental graphics and like it really helps immerse you like, oh, it's storming. Oh, it's really storming. It is really rainy outside. <laughs> oh my. It gives you that sense of realism and I'm a big fan of that. And when it comes to like the towns, the people, the characters, I'm a fan. I'll give like uh, an eight when it comes to character graphics. Um, it's best Sheeta. You know, these guys came out with Fallout 4. I believe it was Fallout 4. No, I'm second guessing myself now. But I was not a big, as much as I was a fan with the overall engine and how everything was going, and I'm a big fan of the hero engine over here on Elder Scrolls. But when it came to the character stuff, I was kind of like, ah, really? This is what you give me? Thankfully, you get a far bigger selection for character um, creation in ESO than you do in Elder in uh, not Elder Scroll, but <laughs> Fallout 4. You're, you're pretty much stuck with this palette and you kind of have to work with just a few things here and there. You still look like a drunk monkey. It is what it is. Right, right. Of course, right. Yes, fiddle on the roof. Shut up. The system. So I'm very, like, I know you guys out there in ESO land who, like, this might be your only MMO. You might be doing this for a lot longer than I have. It takes getting used to. I'm used to the MMO world of where I have a 12 button mouse. I have two razors. Love them very much. 12 button mouse, I can do the whole entire game with just one hand while the other one's free. But in this, in ESO, you can't. You, both hands must be busy at all times when it comes to moving your character around. That, that has taken me a little bit to get used to because, like I said, almost a decade, I'm ingrained on how an MMO works and how uh, the system with moving your character works. That's, that's a pe pity, a petty it's not even a complaint. This is more of like, well, I have to get used to that. But that is something that I feel like, oh, that's interesting. Why? <laughs> Why? I mean, I don't, I'm not going to rage quit over that. I paid for the stupid thing. But still, I just, it's a thing. 
And then when it also comes to like your um, costume designing, not costume design, but your armor, your outfit, and all this stuff, that stuff I'm still trying to go through. You know, like when you get first time into a big game and there's that giant learning curve. Well, right now I'm going through the learning curve. And I really haven't found too many sites like like Adolphi or Tor Community, if that's still a thing anymore. Um, wowhead.com or um, or maybe I should I should try the other one that my brain can't think of, but I know what I'm talking about. But you don't, so I apologize. MMO Champion, that's the site I was thinking of. I've been kind of surprised how there's not a lot of more fan-based sites for this. If there are, put it down in the, in the comments below, and I would love to take a look at it. And correct me if I'm wrong on any of this stuff. This is just my first experience. Cause so the, thus far, loving it. I'm currently lost in the game. I decided to do that. Um, oh, what was it? it? Wasn't the fourth anniversary? There was like some jester thing. I decided to do that. Go to that city, and I am completely lost. I have no idea where my origin city is. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. I'll just do quests here. That's fine. Whatever. But what I love most about this right now is, and we'll do a part three once we get into it. Especially if you guys want to see one. I'm enjoy I'm just having fun. I'm enjoying my time in game and, and I'm not saying I don't enjoy my time in game and the other ones, but the other ones I feel a bit more rushed. I feel a bit more like you know, it's like I'm I'm already at end game with most of my tunes. And it's just like, well, okay, well and, and now what? Now what? With this game it's like there's so much to do, it's kinda like I I feel like I can take my time in this game, pop in when I can, when I want to. And let's do that. And that's what I think games are supposed to be. Games are supposed to be fun. And I'm having fun. If you're not having fun with your game, stop playing your game. But for Elder Scrolls so far, I give you 8 out of 10 beards. I'm really enjoying it. I'll give you probably a 10 out of 10 once I get deeper into the story, deeper into the game itself. And I you know, start to not to be an idiot and realize just how to play this stupid game. Either way, I'm sure I will get into the PvP aspect, to the PvE stuff. Right now, I'm just wandering around in my lion who happens to be on fire. It is what it is. But if, like I said, if you guys know any good guides out there, make sure you put it down there in the comment section below. And if you know any good content creators who specifically do Elder Scrolls Online, comment. I'll allow you to put their, com their uh, channel down in the comment section below. Because we are a large community here. Why not be friends? Especially me, who has a toe in almost all the MMO communities. Like three. Or well, four, if you count Star Trek Online. My pinky's in there somewhere. Anyways, my friends, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you don't, make sure you downvote the poop out of it. But, you know, my beard will still shine brighter than you. <laughs> and if you really like what you see here, you want to become part of the Freak Show community, the black sheep of gaming uh, community here on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. We'd love for you to be part of the family here. Remember to be kind, and it's about community. And we'll see you later. Good day.